what's up guys welcome to a Mr. Bojangles presentation uh, I watch Hauntcast a lot and I thought I would do my own little um, commentary on a Haunt game so here I just picked some random game I just typed in Chu in the statistics and I uh, took any random game that uh, was over like 30 minutes long so I'm gonna give it a try and uh, leave a lot of comments and tell me what you think about it okay Right, so on the Legion team here we got Warden, Raiko, Dark Sphinx, Tralfamador, Emo, and on the Hellborn team we have Chu, Yoda, Ruffian, MF Doom, and the What. Uh, so, the only ones I recognize here are Chu, Warden, and Tralfamador, because I don't know very much about the competitive scene, but something I do recognize is MF Doom which is uh, the name of a famous underground rapper and the what is the name of a very famous hip-hop song so you know whatever and uh, yeah so if we look at the bands here we got engineer dr repulsor devourer and thunderbringer so i'm always surprised over seeing devourer getting banned but Lately he's been kind of owning by some different people, so he's getting banned a lot, but I really don't understand it because I don't think he's a very strong hero. I mean, he's got that hook, he's got that rot, and he's got that disable. I mean, he can do a lot of damage early game, but he doesn't have a lot of presence in the team fights, and he doesn't have a lot of uh, late game ability, in my opinion. Same with Thunderbringer, I mean... I don't really like Thunderbringer, he doesn't have a lot of disables or anything. If you're gonna pick a hero like Thunderbringer, I think you need to have a lot of uh, disables along with it uh, in order to accommodate the fact that he can't do anything except damage. And we're gonna be seeing a 5 Glacius team on the Hellborn here, which I really like because they're gonna have like so much mana that they can't do anything about it, I mean, they're just gonna rape them all day. Oh, unfortunately, we have an Andromeda pick here, even though we had the five Glacia, so the, he the Hellborn team must be really disappointed at Yoda here. I mean, this is just disastrous. So, I don't really know what to say here. Let's check out the chat here. Nothing making any sense to me. We got some people saying they should pick Scout, so let's wait for that, as I'm sure they will pick him, because he's so Imba, we can't screw with it. And we got True on a Glacius, and pressing ready, wow, that's quite surprising. Usually you see him in the, like, you would see him with a, well if we look at this lineup, I would expect him to play something like... Pesty or Pebbles or Deadwood, something really dynamic, which he can go mid, maybe not with Pesty in this case, but with the other heroes, he can go mid and he can just dominate the mid, and then by dominating the mid, he can dominate all the lanes and ensure victory. But that is not going to be the case this time, so I'm kind of surprised over this. Right, so I really, I really hope that the Filer gets picked because he's my favorite, he one of my favorite heroes, and I think the Filer is such a good hero. I think people really underestimate the Filer. I mean, imagine having that nuke that you can spam every like couple of seconds, 300 magic damage, AOE, that ulti that basically makes chasing after the Filer a fruitless endeavor every single time. And not to mention that enormous silence with that huge range and uh, I think it's six seconds of silence. That is just insane in my opinion. Uh, just crazy. I want to see what they're writing here. If you're actually middle, I will laugh my ass off and I will get the fucking easiest of my life. Right, 
right, so let's, uh, I'm gonna just look at the heroes here a little bit. I really want to see what MF Doom does here because he's my favorite rapper and or one of my favorite rappers. And if this guy fails this game, I'm gonna stop listening to MF Doom. That's just the case. So here we hear it. Let's get it on. And here we come to the most exciting part of the game: the loading screen. Let's see what happens. Oh yeah. Real talk. I'm mid, bitch, says Warden, the Witch Slayer. <coughs> Alright, here we go. So let's look at the Legion team here. We got a Witch Slayer, Pharaoh, or a, rather, Witch Slayer on Warden, Pharaoh on Raiko, we got a Swiftblade on Dark Sphinx. We got Polywog on Tralfamador, Slither on M.O. So, this team is like full of disables. They just, they got Witch Slayer for the Imba, Imba Lockdown. They got Pharaoh for the stunning, for the separation of the team with the Wall of the Mummies. And he's got that huge initiate ulti that just can just like surprise you. It can come from nowhere and just catch you there. Then you got Polly with the another Imba disabler and then of course Slither with the sickest slows and the dots and whatnot. And then of course add on top of it all you got Swift Blade. Mr. Damage, Mr. Carry here, he's gonna be in charge of dealing the damage, carrying the game and just raping everybody while they're like morphed or or miniaturized or whatever. So I kind of like this team, although they don't have very many huge AOE spells or the say like ultis or anything like that. But they got some really nice disables here, and I think that's gonna make up for that weakness a lot. And uh, if we look at the Hellborn team here, we have Glacius on Chu, yes, Glacius on Chu, Madman on y uh, Yoda on Madman. Ruffian on Torturer, and my man MF Doom on the Blacksmith, and the what on Andromeda. So, what do I think of this team? Also a lot of sick disables. We got Blacksmith, we have Torture, we have Glacius, we have uh, Andromeda, four int heroes, and uh, Madman here. And we got some initiation here on the bot. Oh, Swiftly spinning towards Torture, he's activating the the impale ability or whatever it's called and swift blade drops to the first blood goes to MF Doom so good start here for MF Doom we got some more pressure here on Slither and he's got stunned again they're going after him but nothing more is gonna come from that so let's watch some other lanes Witch Slayer picked up Illusion Rune battling this Glacius mid, wow. So even with Glacius, Chu is gonna go mid just because he's so good at dominating that mid lane every single time. Look at this, he's actually... Wow. Witch Slayer here forced to use miniaturization. And we got something here top, Pharaoh using the Wall of Mummies to protect himself. And we got Pings going bot. I wonder what that's all about. Not so much really going on here. We got something top, lots of pressure from Polywog. And uh, I think, I think considering the fact that Polywog has that nuke, has that longer range than Andromeda, he's gonna be able to out harass this, these two guys here. And with Pharaoh's defensive ability here with the Wall of the Mummies, it's gonna be hard to kill them. So, anyway, what do I think? I've seen a lot of this going on where. A team, they'll pick four, like, int heroes, which don't do a lot of damage, don't do a lot of stuff. Initiation here on Swift Blade, one hit, not gonna go down. We got counter initiation on Blacksmith here, Slither throwing out some poison on people, straight poisoning people. Stop doing that, man. MF Doom is dropping low, please stop. Right, so. People picking, uh, I'm going back to this point there, people pick four heroes that don't really do a lot, and then they pick just one Imba guy who's like, they rely on to do the damage, do the carrying, 